Friends, a well researched, critically evaluated, concisely compiled presentation will travel around issue relating to ragging, the reason, the panacea and much more things that's going to be presented to you. Ragging is a menace because one senior student in the same institution, that's what ragging is, a senior student in the same institution gets hold of a fresher. I think ragging actually begins with a very innocent approach as to how do we acquaint ourselves with each other, how do we build up the bonding. You see, what has happened is excessive fun has now led to a situation of zero tolerance for ragging. Yeah. There can be no ragging even for fun. Okay. Uh, no familiarization sessions where you tease, you torment Junior. Ever since I gained more wisdom my dream has been my freedom Along with years of hard work I went through seas of pain New people I would meet But no teachers I would read Few believe what I say But I'm here to stay Somewhere over a period of time, I think the, the, the thin line between what should be done and what should not be done is, is lost and blurred, which is when the students overstep the, the, the line and, and which is uh, turning into a big menace that, that we are seeing in the society today. Any act resulting in mental or physical sexual abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse, sexual Sexual. abuse, verbal abuse, indecent behavior, criminal intimidation, wrongful restraint, undermining human dignity, financial exploitation, extortion, use of force, is each of the above, but what I mentioned, mm -hmm. is a criminal offense. It has, of late, it has uh, created a lot of problems amongst uh, younger generations uh, where they have driven to uh, committing suicides. People are insecure and when they get the chance to be, to show their worth, they use this occasion. But uh, I don't know, we have to see why people insult others whenever they get a chance. If someone is enjoying ragging, it clearly means that he lacks self-esteem, he lacks self-confidence. What he is unable to do in an outer world, he is probably doing in front of a very hapless, helpless person. But the unfortunate uh, um, effect of ragging today is that we are losing young lives. And uh, these are the people who actually could be very productive citizens of our country and who could actually support the economic growth of our country. <laughs> Ragging as defined, anything that you do under duress, ragging is a negative trait. Ragging is uh, apart from taking advantage is not good. I totally oppose ragging. Ragging nahi honi chahiye, kisi kimat pe nahi honi chahiye. This uh, minas ragging, this is not inhuman, but this is cruel as well. In university, it gives a psychological uh, damage. It started as a way of familiar, right? you know, basically it's all this genesis to institutions in England and it's part of the colonial sort of culture that we have uh, we imbibed, which is completely erroneous and completely wrong and unacceptable. There is a genesis. The genesis to my mind is that a child, after 12 years of studies, he or she even comes to the college throwing away the heavy bag of books, uniforms and others, and when goes to the college, he or she has a energy level of tremendous level, where one feels like doing something new. We have various kind of uh, forms you can devise if uh, one studies. It could be physical intimidation, 
it could be just a verbal interview it could also go to harassment from harassment it can also go to torture so this various kind of forms which we have seen it depends on situation to situation so therefore how to tackle them we need to have a multi pronged strategy how do you behave with your juniors how can you be helpful to them uh, how do you address their anxiety take them under the, your wings in a very parental sort of a way rather than in a dominant sort of a way the senior students feels that they can show their might that they can show their aggressiveness that they can play their superiority that they can always demonstrate to their juniors you are always subordinate to me and you should always obey me this is what i am teaching you from the first day you kneel down in front of me. so this is how it starts it starts early from the childhood days our child has been ragged in the literal sense it's not you know if you want to see the literal sense of ragging it's not that but a parent uh, you know uh, how he deals a child supposing in case child wants to do something and we said no don't do that and as he slowly learns uh, there is this tendency of uh, you know a child developing that whatever i am ask, uh, liking to do parents are not allowing me to do uh, similarly when he goes up into the school level so in a small talk in you know he chit chatting with his friend the teacher says no you stand on the bench so there he starts developing a ill will against other persons interestingly ragging begins at home yeah it is a parents who insist and press the children with the do's and don'ts over a period of time he accumulates insult pain anguish and many more negative tires in his mind waiting for a right opportunity went it out we have advised universities we have advised all educational institutions um to uh, deal with it very strictly sir, sir. and even if it involves prosecuting people uh, who mentally um, oppress others ragging, through ragging. through ragging and they should be dealt with uh, very strongly and very severely uh, we've also placed regulations in place as you know uh, we've got helplines um uh, there are college con college committees that have been constituted um, in terms of our regulations um so hopefully uh, ultimately it's the college and the administration that must take um you steps. know steps to ensure that uh, this menace is curbed as quickly as possible we already had guidelines in place which said that that uh, every uh, uh, college uh, in the prospectus itself will have to print on it the saying that ragging uh, should not be done and punitive measures will be taken against the students jnu mein it's already ban hame already a fees registration karana hota hai to ek form sign karna hota hai jisme likha hota hai ki aap ragging nahi karenge institution mein and in the same way it should be banned in uh, other institutions also similarly there was a committee which was constituted called the ragman committee which was asked to go into to look into the ragging aspect and to suggest measures wherein we can prevent and reduce the 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 menace of ragging ragman committee has def, has given us uh, recommendations and as part of the recommendations um, we have also established a call center wherein students who are exposed to ragging are Im can immediately call up the call center the call center records the the complaint that the students give and depending on the uh, the gravity of the situation that the student is in it is immediately referred to the vice chancellors and to the institution managements for asking the institutions to take uh, preventive measures on this and uh, if we do not hear back from the uh, from the institutions then there also uh, we we send it across to the police stations also so that the the police can then take action against uh, students who are indulging in ragging uh, 